exactly it. I mean, it can be a similar style for sure as far as the early shove and then the roaming. It's just a champion he's probably not as masterful on because he's been playing Aurelian Sol since MSI. Yeah. As there's plays happening on both sides of the map. Definitely read there by Rex. I spent scaring use the ultimate, but bottom side. Big say get hit up. The exhaust is there. Or he drug. still has flash. The heal goes down. Fights across the map. Stick say is gonna go down to first blood. That's Bjergsen coming up with the kill. Darshan answers back. The fight in the bottom is still going back and forth. Oh. And it's going to be double if down. Stick say live throughout it by holding the heal, holding the flash, and then fighting back. Woo. Ridiculous across the map to go back to the same strategy, the same draft. They roam to the top side again. Hunter lives, and they're not done yet. And now they like to fuse in their favor. The shots coming out, the curtain call, and they're gonna shove Stick Say up the stage. It's because of the deferred pressure on the map. COG use Jin plus Gangplank is an incredible mm -hmm. synergy. I think especially against Soraka. I think that's gonna threaten uh -oh. Aphromar a lot. That could be a position to start it with. That could be the Jin ult, then the Gangplane ult to follow if they want to finish him off. Could it be over the wall? They said we don't need it yet. Hold it, and TSM are sure to secure that kill. Ricochet autos as well as boomerangs, but Gangplane ultimate once again. Spence Karen goes right on to Stixay, working the ground is who he from oh! back here. And that's going to be a big cast from Smithy before he goes down. All of TSM come out pretty unscathed and look for more. COG had arrived to that turret early. They were able to do it because they're stronger right now, but it was still a very nice map move by TSM. So if that map move were kind of be disregarded, what is CLG's option there? Or is the move they did just have to be done? That Whoa! Never mind. The next move from TSM is even more right than the first one. They get two kills. And don't, you don't even have to answer that. Yeah, the problem with picking Cat the turret there, that's going to be his immediate reaction. Uh, but oh, he just gets word. the double stun there. They get a double kill, and CLG need a miracle steal. I talked about TSM not fully taking control of the game, but there they have taken hold of it completely. Drafts and playing smaller champion pools. And even though Trundle and Jin are common champions in League of Legends, they're actually two champions TSM hadn't played in the entire season. Whoa! That's a thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Darshan teleports immediately out because uh, they saw TSM leave bottom lane. So we will see so. what kind of options TSM can pro or provide for themselves here. It's still Nar, but there's a lot more people here. Oh, they knew he just Nard back down to mini, if that's a thing. So they get themselves right in and out of that play, not even within aggro range of the turret. So that's going to fall in their favor here. Like we said, TSM starting to take, take control, and then now in the bot lane, it looks like this second turret will fall, the first inhibitor of the game. And it does not look like CLG will be able to do much. They may put up an alt mix smithy here to get Hunter oh! in. Hello and goodbye as they drink him under the table. Called it, Riv, right there. Smithy, good ultimate. And CLG already able, able to get one kill. The Sivir ult was used here. Can they chase Before down Ruby and, and CLG as TSM have deep wards. Wall. Look at all these deep wards. Oh, there's the pillar. Who he can't even ult to get out of this one. He would have knocked off the surf right away. Alfram, who saves himself with the ultimate as well as some damage from that star oh. side of the wall right there. So that was CLG attempting to pull off and just completely flopping. Cool. TSM way stronger and looking poised to win the game. Bing, bang, boom. Takes him down. The inhibitor follows right after with its turret. And they could be looking to go for the Nexus turrets here. Really lighting a fire under themselves to come into this uh, little bit of a remake game. Both teams coming out very strong, and TSM is going to try and find the Nexus here in game one, 11 to four, as they battled it out in CLG in the early game. We're gonna have to see how much closer this series can get. We are gonna be going game two, as TSM is up one game. And TSM has to feel quite happy about that game. Monster dodged a ton of pressure from CLG. Bjergsen was dominant in the mid lane, and Doublelift and Biofrost